Hey everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. We have a follow-up video, but this is mainly going to be for the Elgato soundboard. So you are going to need an extra software to run your soundboard through your Discord. Um, also, if you're wanting to just capture the sound effects during your live stream, you don't need this software. But if you want to route it to Discord, you are going to need the software. So let's get started. First things first, you want to go to ndi.tv slash tools slash. This program is going to be that extra hardware that you need. And it's going to actually help you route your sound effects to your microphone so you can use your sound effects in Discord. All right, so I've already downloaded and installed this. And just hit the download button and it does it for you. So we can go ahead and uh, close this out here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to our Discord. And our input device is going to be our Wavelink microphone. Now if you're not using VSTs, you can do this one of three ways. You can do VSTs, Wavelink microphone effects. You could do mic in Elgato Wave XLR. Now if you don't want to install the software, there is the other method, which is just using your Wavelength stream and everything comes through here. I don't do that. My audio is split for a reason. So I'm using VSTs. So I'm going to have this come through my Wavelength microphone effects. And of course, my party chat is always going to go through my Wavelength voice chat because that's what's going to show up in my OBS when we do party chats. All right. So now that we've got that sorted out, I'm already in my gaming comms, but we need to go to Wavelength. We need to do a couple of things. So in Wavelink, from here, we're going to see our Elgato wave and we're going to see our sound effects. My sound effects is how I'm going to set everything up through the soundboard here in Stream Deck. So first things first, let's actually get started in Stream Deck. We're going to go ahead and put our stop audio because it's going to stop anything that's playing instantly when we hit this button. And we're going to select our play audio. Now we can route this to whatever output channel we want. Me personally, it will always go to Wavelink sound effects. That's where I want my sound effects to go. You can choose according to what you prefer. But now I need to choose a sound, right? So if you don't have a sound, you can always come here, go to sound effects in the plugin store, and they do have a sound effects as part of this, as well as music, icons, plugins, and discover. I already have some installed, but you can come to most popular, you can go to recently added, you can see what's trending now. There's a lot of audio sound effects in here. All right, so I'm gonna go with what I've already installed. So I'm gonna choose the file, and we're gonna use our cartoon disappointment. Now it sounds like this. Now that's coming through my OBS, but it's not going through my Discord. And you can change the icon. We're gonna choose one from the Stream Deck library. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, these do not have preset images. This is going to be a very blank template and you can customize it to your liking. So if you have creative art that you've made into an icon, you can actually set up that creative art for your icon for that particular button. Um, they don't have things set up in a way where it shows the icon for whatever it is you downloaded. That might be maybe something we could request from Elgato in a feature request in the future. Absolutely. But I don't know if that would be implemented or not. But it is, you know, something you can definitely send a feature request to Elgato for. So what I'm going to do is look for something that looks like a Wavelink audio source. And I'm going to leave it Cartoon D because it's Cartoon Disappoint. Now that we have this cartoon disappoint, and I'm just going to basically use this one particular option as the soundboard, sound effects. Um, I could customize a whole bunch of other buttons, but we're just going to go with the cartoon disappointment. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pop up in Wavelink, right? So I want the audio to come through my microphone for Discord purposes, because, you know, we just went here and we just went to set up our microphone. So as we push this button, it's not coming through our Discord. And I'll show you. So you see, we're gonna unmute our Discord real quick here. 
I'm gonna push the button. And you're gonna notice that the green isn't coming through as I'm speaking. As I'm speaking, the green comes through. So I'm gonna play that one more time. And my sound effects is not coming through. So to do that, we're gonna actually come here in Wavelink. We can actually click on our VST area because it will show up like a VST. You do have to install it. So if you don't know how to do this, you're gonna come here and you're gonna look for where it's gonna talk about the NDI. So, you know, if you need to look for it, you would come to new tech and you would select NDI output because we're outputting the sound, right? So that's the NDI output. Now we're gonna to come to our microphone and we're gonna add it as an NDI input. So we'd go to new tech, NDI input, and we could actually choose our source and we could choose sound effects because that's the input that we just created. And it will input it in there. So I've already done this. So I can actually delete this one here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can make sure mine is configured properly. And I'm gonna make sure that it's turned on. And then I'm gonna push the cartoon. So we're gonna see it come through the microphone section. So now that it's come through the microphone section, we wanna make sure that it's coming to our Discord. So that's how we're gonna be able to route our soundboard to Discord with the Wavelink and the Stream Deck from Elgato. Now this is directly from Elgato. This has no other third-party software with the exception of the NDI. I hope this has helped you all so that way you can route your soundboards into Discord because I know that that's been a very popular question. But thank you for watching, everybody. Have a lovely day.